In John chapter 1, the Gospel, John the Baptist points out to two of his disciples, look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. And those two disciples who don't have a name, they go running after Jesus and they're kind of following at a distance and Jesus stops and he says, what do you want? You ever notice they don't answer? Besides, they respond to Jesus with a question, where are you staying? You see, that's a question that Jesus asked of his disciples. It's a question of desire. Uh, you and I, are we are a big bundle of desires. And sorting out those desires uh, relative to our life with God, it makes all the difference. Uh, ordered desires aligned with the will of God indeed bring life. Disordered desires and us responding to them, it indeed brings death. Pastor Kurt and I have been walking with you through uh, John's first letter. And this coming Sunday, we're going to be in chapter 2, verses 15, 16, and 17. And we're going to be wrestling with this whole uh, reality of desire. What does it mean to love the world? And what is it relative to our desires? And what does it mean to love God? And is there any possible way to know the difference? We hope that you will join us and that you will come and see what John is seeking to say to us through the scriptures relative to living in his sweet spot relative to our desires. It's going to be great. We look forward to having you on Sunday. I want to let you know uh, about a change in our staff. Uh, Wade Cobb, who has been serving for many years as our direct director of Celebrate Recovery and also my ministry assistant. He is going to be reducing his time with the church to half time as he has been given the opportunity uh, to become the pastor out at St. Paul uh, United Methodist Church. This began uh, at the 1st of January and we are really, really excited for this opportunity uh, for Wade to spread his wings in ministry and uh, to live into that sweet spot that God uh, has for him. So when you see Wade, uh, uh, he uh, just give him a word of encouragement and a word of congratulations. I know that that he will appreciate that. So he will be doing uh, celebrate recovery halftime along with uh, continuing to manage our communion team and also the baptism point person uh, for our uh, church. So uh, just keep that in mind. Last thing I want to share with you today is uh, uh, beginning in two weeks, our staff is going to be reading this book together uh, by Donald Miller. It's called Hero on a Mission. In this book, uh, Donald Miller makes the case that in any given moment of our day, we could be playing one of four roles. The role of the villain, the role of the victim, the role of the hero, or the role of the guy. And whatever role we are playing at any given time uh, determines if we are going to be draining life from the world or giving life to the world. I uh, just wanted to share with you that we are going to be reading this as a staff together in case any of you wanted to join us in reading it. It's Donald Miller's Hero on a Mission. Much grace and peace, everyone.